Most adults don't understand that you can drink enough at one sitting to die. And it's the first thing that parents need to know, that it can kill them. This is the part that I begin with whenever I'm talking to kids and parents. And they don't seem to understand the worst short-term effect, which is that in an evening of drinking, you can drink enough to slow your respiration to the point that you don't take that next breath and you die. I describe alcohol for adolescents as the perfect storm drug. And the reason for that is it has two effects that are different in adolescents than they are in adults. The first is adolescents are far less sedated by alcohol than adults are. The other thing is that from the standpoint of the buzz chemistry, that is the chemistry that makes you feel high and buzzed and happy and uh, disinhibited, uh, adolescents appear to be more sensitive to that. So if you think about uh, uh, an adolescent, they are less sedated and more buzzed. And so they can stay awake to do things that they really, really shouldn't be doing. So one way to think about, about the brain and development of the brain is that there's a go part of the brain that wants you to take risks, experience new things. But then there's a let's wait and see part of the brain. That's our prefrontal cortex. So the prefrontal cortex is the part of the brain where we have decision making, we have what's called executive control, and it helps us to make good decisions. It's there in adolescence. It's just not quite as fast and as strong as it's going to be when their brain is fully developed. And so they're more likely to succumb to impulses, to take risky behaviors, and to perhaps make bad decisions. Probably the critical phase of brain development most people don't appreciate occurs during adolescence. So between the ages probably of 12 and 22, your brain is still very actively developing. Most people think you're done when you're 15, 16, and it's just not true. It takes probably 25 years to mature. Now, one of the most interesting thing about the teenage brain is, is that it, it really is wired to accomplish what evolution has really driven us to do, which is to grow up and then separate from our tribe separate from our family. To do that, they have to be able to encounter scary things and be brave. They have to take risks. So the brain during the time of adolescence is actually wired to take risks, to be brave. So it's a normal part of development, but that also presents the opportunity for risk when they're confronted with things like drugs. So I think it's, it's really important for, for both adolescents and adults to realize that, um, that, that kids just don't have the inherent brain power to do what they need to do to be completely responsible in every circumstance and then to impair that even more with alcohol is, is particularly problematic. The earlier uh, a young person starts to use alcohol, the more likely they are to become dependent on it and then addicted to it. So the earlier you start, the more likely you are to be addicted. It's because the brain as a teenager, especially in the very youngest years, is so wired for learning. The chemistry is different than you and I have uh, as adults. It, it's, it's very geared up to learning and, and can learn literally to fall in love with the drug. I've, I've even had people say, I, I just fell in love with alcohol the first time I used it. And once you're in the position of falling in love with the drug, you're well on your way to addiction.